Hello and welcome. I'm your host, Mr. Buss, and today I'd like to walk you through how to run Lab 15 on solar power or photovoltaic cells. Energy produced by the sun is called solar energy. It's produced during nuclear reactions that take place throughout the volume of the sun. The energy travels to the earth in the form of light and then photovoltaic cells or solar cells change the light energy to electrical energy that can be used to power calculators, cars, or even satellites. A single vo photovoltaic cell is approximately the size of a fingernail and puts out a very small current when struck by the light. Objects requiring higher currents to operate can be powered by wiring a lot of, a large number of photovoltaic cells together. Here's the equipment you'll need. You'll need a LabQuest and then three sensors. You need a light sensor, a voltage probe, and a current probe. And then other equipment you'll need will be a meter stick, a light socket with a light bulb, two sets of clamps, a 100 ohm resistor, a photovoltaic cell, and then two different sets of wires, one with a alligator clip at one end and a banana plug in the other end, and one with an alligator clip on each end. By the way, these wires don't have to be red. The color of the wires does not matter at all. I very carefully attach the photovoltaic cell to one of my clamps, making sure not to overclamp it. I don't want to break the photovoltaic cell. Make sure to measure that the distance between the end of the light bulb and the photovoltaic cell is 20 centimeters. Here's the wiring diagram. Certainly if you feel comfortable looking at this, go ahead and start wiring it right now. The directions are to follow. This is a closer look at what an alligator clip would look like. It's going to have two jaws basically that open up and a banana plug. Alternatively, some of my uh, wires have broken, and this works just fine too if you find an alligator clip on one end and the banana plug is broken, but you can still attach this bare wire. So this would work just fine as well. Attach the alligator clip to the red wire coming out of the photovoltaic cell. And then attach the banana plug to the current meter. Alternatively, if you just have the bare wire, that will simply go right through this part of the current meter and then you'll simply end up with it looking like that. It's important that you obtain the correct resistor so for this make sure that you grab a 100 ohm resistor. It'll say that right on the resistor it'll say 100 ohm. Go ahead and connect your 100 ohm resistor to the current probe uh, the current meter right here on the black uh, cap end, thread it through, and tighten the cap. Take your wire with the alligator clip, or the jaws basically, on each end. Attach one of the ends of the alligator clip to the 100 ohm resistor and attach the other end to the black wire of the photovoltaic cell, thus completing the circuit. Locate your voltage probe, which is basically just a black and a red wire that's going to attach to your LabQuest device, and go ahead and attach them on either end of the 100 ohm resistor, making sure that they are within the circuit. You can't attach it to the very end of the wire, or that would be off of the circuit. So in this order, red and then black. Okay, there's your setup. You're ready to collect data. Go ahead and plug in your sensors. I like to plug them in in this order where the current probe is in channel 1, the voltage probe is in channel 2, and the light meter is in channel 3. Make sure your light meter is on the 0 to 6000 setting. Tap the screen where the current meter is and tap 0 
and go ahead and zero the current meter. Go ahead and do the same for the voltage meter where it says potential here. Tap the screen, hit zero. Okay, so both the current and potential are close to zero. They're going to fluctuate slightly, um, but they're very close to zero, so we're good with those numbers. Now go ahead and turn on your light bulb. Take a look at your lab quest, and if you have a negative potential, then switch the red and the black wires for the voltage probe. If you have a negative current, switch the wires leading up to or coming out of the photovoltaic cell. You should have positive numbers for both current and potential, roughly in this range. Obtain your light meter and set the light meter level with the photovoltaic cell pointed at the light bulb. I'm running this by myself, so I actually used a rubber band to attach it to the clamp. Now this looks pretty good. Go ahead and write down your current, potential, and illumination values in your data table. Again, the setup will look something like this. Now run your data a second time, this time with a 40 centimeter difference. Previously you ran it with a 20 centimeter difference, now you're going to double that and the light bulb will be 40 centimeters from the photovoltaic cell and the light meter. Go ahead and turn your light bulb on and record your data in your data table. For your third and final reading you need an 80 centimeter distance um, from the photovoltaic cell to the light bulb. So notice I didn't even set this up right because actually it's going to take a couple people. Someone's going to have to probably take a hold of this uh, uh, supporting rod with the light bulb and lift it up actually while you're doing the reading. So that's the third and final reading that you're going to need to obtain.